It's quiet now you've left And I'm sitting on the balcony And it's like duvet theft When you're sleeping it falls off of me Oh, I'm looking up at the sky The traffic's roaring by And I'm going round the roundabout Shock of brightest light and first breath and clamour, noise. The waves of fear and joy and relief that rolled over and through her tiny body. Loud, love, the sudden sting of existence. The day was ending, the sky bright as spice. Outside in the syrupy warm air. And where he got a paraffin heater to heat my bedroom, and Aunt Edna said, you can't put a newborn baby near that smelly thing, you daft sod. My godmother. Whatever did Arthur say, I asked her. He reckoned someone must have put something in my drink, she said. And you're falling about and you're dreaming. You're frowning or what are you dreaming in my arms? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it something to do with the things we both had? Cause what's mine is yours and likewise now. Just talk to me and I'll show you how to sing like me, oh I wish I She looked in the mirror at herself and Daniel started taking photos of her. Unnoticed, I watched them both. Hattie was mesmerised, tracing the contours of her skull with her fingertips. And it hadn't been dark for very long. The sky was a bruised purple colour. It hung above the houses and they looked unfamiliar, even though I was... One evening, I came back home and everything was just as I'd left it, except the bowls gleamed with a new knowledge. It's how I spent a lot of days when I was growing up, the long holidays. I found the worn steps of the mounting block, the focus of my mother's childhood memory. It seems a small and insignificant feature from which to launch a discovery of the Dengie Peninsula, old and free, an uninhibited and unstructured relationship with place, but bred an unfailing desire for wilderness. A large green marble in Midsummer's pocket, a gift wrapped in a thicket of thorns, tantalizing, commonplace, the slowest food I've ever eaten. Um, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it'll actually happen later in the year. Uh, this has a, a, a particularly um, sort of personal connotation for me since... So that's, that's connected with that. So anyway, Lynn said to me about, you know, nearly a year ago, said, well, you know, I'd done these pollen, uh, huge, quite big pollen pieces that were hanging in the Cry summer show last year. And, um, and the colour is what sort of grabbed me.
Well, today is probably the first time I've done something where I've actually felt quite relaxed before I came. I think probably because you wanted me to do something on the day, for the day, and it was temporary. You didn't want me to make something away at home and bring it in and put it in the place. So like, it, just, it was like no point in worrying too much. Um, how do I start otherwise? I'd, I'd just come in and I'd look around and just allow myself to play, I think. But I have been in other places, like particularly going to Japan, I was incredibly nervous and I spent many a night awake. So this is, this is a good prep. Um, that is the inside of a stand-up's mind, by the way. It's just like, boom, smashed it, killed it. Women funny? This is awesome, this is fantastic. I finally have an excuse to be single. Because before I was just using my laziness. I think that's just because I'm really hilarious. Jack.